Hi, I'm Wayne from Perry's Aquatic Centre. So here we're at Perry's, this is uh, Wayne Perry, owner of Perry's Aquatic Centre. And uh, what's this over here? I'll see all this, it looks really freaky and funky. What's going on here? It's uh, phytoplankton. We culture phytoplankton in the shop to feed our own coral systems as well as sell to uh, customers. Uh, phytoplankton is the first stage of uh, first stage in the sea of the plankton. Uh, if there wasn't green water in the sea, there wouldn't be anything in the sea. Uh, we feed our copepods and waterfur cultures uh, the phytoplankton as well as the feed in the coral tanks behind me. The advantage of phytoplankton is that you you get good polyp extension on your corals. You feed in your microfauna uh, in your tank with all your little bugs and critters. Uh, feeding your your live rock and all the natural bacteria in your live rock. And if you can recreate a natural, if you can recreate nature as close as possible in the tank by using something natural, you're going to get uh, all in all, you're going to get a lot better moving fish tank. Oh, cool. So what's the process here? Where does it start? Start from the top or does it start from the bottom? What we do, we, we, we produce, we, we start off with the culture in the, top, uh, in the top tank. We find with our experience, it is easier to start off in a small batch. So we start off at something about 100 mil with a starter culture of phytoplankton. Small amount of fertilizer and salted water. It runs for about two days, three days, and it'll multiply and when we get up to a quite nice density uh, of about 19 million cells per milliliter, but then we increase the water by about 20 or 30 percent every couple of days. After we've increased it up to the first 250 ml bottle size, we would then put it into the next larger size and carry on the process by increasing the water, increasing the fertilizer a little bit more. So we'll carry on growing when we've got it to the one litre bottle size, then we'll use it and then bottle it. Excellent. And why, why are they different colours? Different colours is that different colours is the different types of algae we are producing. And what we'll do and some of the ones we sell is we'll take some of the dark the dark green, some of the lighter green and some of the red algae and mix it together to make a three algae blend. Different algae have different benefits for different coals. So we mix them, mix them together, uh, and then each coal is going to be able to take different vitamins, different fatty acids, oils out of three different instead of just feeding one type of algae. So this is food for algae. Uh, no, it's food for coals. It's uh, you're feeding the you're feeding the coal. You're feeding the live whole, rock. Feeding your live rock, all your system. Feeding your microphone. The most important thing is, in the sea, life starts as the smallest thing, phytoplankton. After phytoplankton, the, the zooplankton then starts to eat the, uh, the phytoplankton. The zooplankton is then eaten by slightly, slightly larger baby fish, flat, and the cycle goes on and on. Okay. So you've got a lot of plankton here. Are you, are you afraid of uh, getting like raided by whales or anything like that? No, not at the moment, no. <laughs> For more information on keeping tropical fish, marine fish, corals, live rock, please visit our website, Perry's Aquatic Centre, Lincoln.com.